And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Texas Rangers taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. John Chambi alongside Chris Singleton. And Chris, we've got an opportunity to watch one of the true superstars of the sport. Bryce Harper, always exciting to see him in action. And it seems like he consistently finds a way to impact the game. Yeah, Boogie, it's offensively at the plate, defensively when he's on the bases. I mean, this guy's just a heads-up player, but he's got so much talent, and he makes the most of that. I believe it starts with his preparation because you never see him give away an at-bat. Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club, and what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 against him, and it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball. Maybe it's the release point, maybe it's the motion, but just some way, somehow, they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side. And there's a foul ball. Here goes the runner. Pitch in for a strike. Throw, tag, out. A bullet from JT Real Muto. That goes to show you stealing a base is a tough thing to do and far from a sure thing, even with big time speed. It's not easy to catch him, but that was a great catch and throw. Quick, not rushed, and accurate. Tosses the first, and now two gone. Seeger stands in now. In there at the knees for a strike. That one finds the zone, and the count is 0-2. To third, boom. Zips it across, and that will end the inning. And we're back. And pitching here today, Andrew Haney. What do we have on him? Well, maybe a little pedestrian there in terms of the ERA, but with those numbers, you expect to be in a ball game and have an opportunity to win. And really, that's all his teammates can ask for. So we'll see if he's able to be consistent in this one. Here's Turner now. He's been doing a good job knocking in his teammates. More than an RBI per game over his last 10. Oh, wow, what a stop. From his knees, the throw, and they get the out. Look at the commitment to make the play. Down to the ground, from the knees. That's not just arm strength, guys. That's core strength as well. Look at that rocket across the diamond. Outstanding job. Bryce Harper to the plate. Hitting a ton of homers this year. Second most in the National League. Strike yeah. one. Oh, Two one. outs, base is empty. Yeah. Next offering in there for a strike. Okay. That is strike two. Good pitch down around the knees. You want to be there all game. In a park like this, a pop-up sometimes will carry out. Hammers that one. Deep left field and forget it. That'll fire up the dugout. His 17th of the year. And the Phillies take the lead. It's 1-0. So the streak stays alive. His fourth straight game with a home run. Boog, that's like a cycle of home runs, and I know how much you love the cycle. He's absolutely punishing mistakes right now. He can't miss. No matter how this outing ends, that pitch is going to haunt him for a while. An 0-2 mistake. That's supposed to be a pitch out of the zone. He left it in a spot that the hitter could do some damage with, and that's exactly what he did. And now it's Alec Bohm, fourth on the batting average leaderboard in the National League. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Boom. There you go. Checks his swing. Now an appeal to first. Yes, he did. That's a swing. The pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. The pitch. That one ripped way back there. And it gets into the corner, but it's foul. Clearly trying to stay back a little bit longer for that changeup as he fouls that fastball back. On the ground as he checked his swing. Fires over to first. That ends the frame. But they're off to a good start as they pick up a run on this solo shot. It's now 1-0.
It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here in Philadelphia, all set for the start of the inning. Here's Josh Young. Foul ball there. And he'll one. In the air, right center. This is mashed way back and gone. A gigantic blast. His 12th of the season, it's 1-1. One, one. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. It's like he's playing wiffle ball up there, and that's typically not the easiest way to hit a home run. The slight opposite field into the gap. Man, making it look easy, that's for sure. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. Here is Marcus Simeon. That one's in there, and that is strike one. But we just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Next offering is in for a strike. Got to be careful here. This is the type of hitter that can punish you, even with pitches outside the zone. One run across in the frame so far here at the top of the second. Next nope, pitch is outside. Back. And oh, another ball. 2-2 two, two now. Simeon waits. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A-B going. The pitch. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. So he gets a hit after a long battle with the pitcher. And next is the designated hitter, Josh Smith. Hey. Ground ball right side could be two. Off balance beat, no, there's one. Up. Not in time hey. at first. It's a fielder's choice. Now it's the right fielder, Adolis Garcia. That one hammered, but pulled foul. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. Tied up here in the early going. On the ground to third. Boom. Throws the second for one. And that's two. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. All even now at 1-1. This is Phillies baseball on the show Northeast. Back here in Philadelphia, bottom of the inning. And here is Sosa to the plate. Ball oh. one there. <laughs> this one high in the air to left center. Tavares going after it. Pulls it in for the out. And now it is JT. Real Muto. Out in front and foul to the left side. 0 1 now. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Garcia settles under it and makes the catch. Two away. Ground ball left side. Over to low. And that is the inning. And welcome back to the ballpark. New inning getting started. And now the batter is Carson. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there. On its way. Gone. And just like that, they're out front. It's 2-1. One. one pitch, one swing, one home run. Yeah, you can say that's efficiency right there. Didn't need much time in the box to make an impact. see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at bat you watch him from the on deck circle so when you step in the box you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at really good job by the hitter total 
of conviction on that swing. Here's Leody Tavares. That pitch in for a strike. It's 0-1. Tavares in his fourth year, 25 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. On the ground. Dives and he can't hang on. Not in time. He's safe. They'll just put it in play, right? With his speed, that's a hit every time. And now they've got some speed on first, so nope. we'll see if oh. they try to get him into motion. Langford takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. On the ground to third. To second, that's Out. one. On to first, in yeah. time. Double play. As a former player, watching 5-4-3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, oh. and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. The lefty to one on. Late swing, foul to the left. Two outs. And he hits a ground ball right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Rangers pick up a run here on the solo home run. And the home team down a run. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here, Citizens Bank Park, set for the bottom of the third. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. Right side, hard hit. On to first, and Castellanos is out. Johan Rojas digs in now. Definitely scuffling at the dish lately. Only two hits over the last five games. Hey. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Oh, the the high fastball, particularly for young hitters, can be hard to lay off of because you see it so well at eye level, but it's really hard to catch up and get that top hand to work on time. And a couple of quick outs. Back to the top of the lineup. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. The other way. Brings it in for the third out. Phillies go down. And we're back. And the batter will be the shortstop, Corey Seager. And that's in there at the knees for a strike. Ground ball to Bone. Whips it across. Oh. One up, one down. Josh Young getting ready to hit. A dive. Nice stop. Throw to first. And very nicely done for the out. Well, you can see right there, he looks very comfortable going to the backhand. Nice diving stop. Gets up to complete the play. That'll fire the team up for sure. Now it's Marcus Simeon. And first offering is fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Come back into the mound. In plenty of time to first. And it's a one. Ready to go. Bottom four. Here's the shortstop at the play. Trey Turner. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. Oh, well, these Phillies definitely being aggressive at the plate, but I think it's fair to wonder if they're being a little over-aggressive. Ah. The numbers tell us they're swinging at the first pitch more than 90% of the time, and that's an extremely high number, especially when you're not getting results, boo. That one the other way. Puts it away for the out. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. And look out as that one ran in and got him. Alec Bohm stands in for the Phillies. Boo, do you uh, have any memorable hit by pitches yourself? Maybe oh. high school, college? No, but I almost did get decapitated by a foul ball at Old Tiger Stadium. One down, Phillies down a run. Oh, Kicks and fires. Wouldn't oh. chase that time. And that's, that's too high. high. Ball four. Pretty easy walk right there. Last pitch wasn't even much to think about. And digging in for Philadelphia. Edmundo Sosa. He's 0 for 1. 
Swing and a miss. Strike one. The last oh, thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. Next That's offering is downstairs. One ball, one strike. Two on, one out. Upstairs. Good spot for the hitter. Definitely balls, has the advantage in this count with runners on. Look for him to be aggressive on this next pitch. Gets him to chase after that one. Well, when those hitters count, sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. And another ball. Parker, the lead runner out at second. Boom. Over at first, so one away. Got him! Two gone. Unafraid to throw it right there. That's trust in your stuff. Just one out away from getting out of a huge jam. Real Muto swings through it for strike oh one. These hitters have come out ready to swing the bats early in the count and swing it often. If you want to score some runs, have an offensive explosion, that can be a lot to do. Should be extra bases. Here comes Harper around third. One runs in. He was all over that one. Just a really nice job of running on that pitch and smoking it down the line. And there's no one playing there, so once it drops in fair, you're on your way to extra bases. So two down. Now here is Austin Hayes. Grounded out his first time up. Another drive, that's a base hit. One runs in. Now a second crosses the plate. Four, two now. Nicely done. Brings home two. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out flying. Ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. Two outs. Runner on first. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. 0 for 1 so far. And a foul ball. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Oh, and two. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Runs for him here, and they move ahead. Smith leading things off and takes a strike. Well, these Rangers doing a good job of putting the ball into play, and that makes things more challenging on the defensive side. They have yet to strike out, and they're averaging more than a hit per inning. That's a great recipe for success right there. Got him swinging. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Garcia stands in now and watches strike one. Swing and a miss. Up the middle. Sosa gathers and throws to first. And a couple of quick outs. Kelly stands in here. Takes ball one low. The Phillies up by two. And we're at the top of the fifth. Hey. And he's swinging to miss. He's gotten into a One really ball. good rhythm. Two, Set down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep the momentum going. And a pitch. And now the count is even. It's a good take. Swings and misses, and a nice inning of work there as he sets it. Back at Citizens Bank Park. Now here is Johan Rojas. And first offering is fouled off. 
Booth. I never got to play at Citizens Bank Park in my career. Just the old veteran stadium in Philadelphia, but the crowds here are just as energetic now as they were at that old park. And trust me, as an outfielder visiting town, you're going to hear it from the fans out there in the bleachers. Just well, misses the mark outside the zone. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And that's outside. Now two and two. Line drive, caught. Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. Schwarber, the next to hit, takes outside. Hey. A big swing and a miss. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. That one lifted to left. Sizing this one up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Two outs. Base is empty. Now a chance for Trey Turner. Back to the mound. He's got it. Tosses to first. Turner is out. And welcome back to the ballpark. All set for the top of the sixth. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Leody Tavares. And a pitch. Ground ball to the right side. Could be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game. But all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Langford in the box now. No balls and a strike. A pitch in for a strike. And it's 0-2. Lifted in the air, right center field. Castellanos sizes this one up, brings it in. Runner tags it second. He's in there. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. And he takes one right on the black. And it's 0 and 1. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. That one just misses ball one. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's his club. On the ground, right side. Sneaks through, base hit. Runner from third comes across. It's 4-3. His confidence level is so high. Really nice job of coming through in a big spot. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock. And we'll take that anytime you can get him to find... And here's Corey Seeger to hit. Ground ball could be two. There's one. And that's two. Well, they pick up one run on the RBI single. It's now a 4-3 ball game. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here in Philadelphia, where we go bottom six. And here's the first baseman, Bryce Harper. Fought off foul. Harper goes six feet, three inches, 210 pounds, and he's a former rookie of the year. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Some activity in the bullpen for Texas. Dane Dunning up and loosening in the pen. Malley getting cranked up as well. Out towards right center field. Harper retired. One up, one down. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Alec Bohm. A former first-round pick, and he's really turned into a nice everyday player. Left field. Lankford has a beat on it. Puts it away for the out. Two down. Two outs. Base is empty. Now it's the second baseman, Edmundo Sosa. Base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. Nice line okay. drive to the pull side right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Slides for the stop. They get the out, and that'll do it. One. And here it comes. 
That yeah. clips the zone. Going to one. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. No, he held up. Looking to get the tying run on base. On the ground to the left. And that's just foul. And he can't come up with it. And he's going to make it to first. And we'll see how they score it. Marcus Simeon will hit next. Ground ball right side. And it's just foul. That was close. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. Got him looking. One out. Clearly looking out over the plate on that outer third. And that pitch finished. Right down the middle, just a little bit. Turner. There's one. And still another double play. They're fourth tonight. We're back in a new pitcher here to start. Now Start the bottom of the seventh. Dane Dunning. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers. So he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing work behind him. They'll have to be on their toes with him on the ball. Nope. First That's pitch doesn't that. find the zone. You know, these fills, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive results. Well, as hot hitting continues, he's been getting great results lately. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good hey. about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, oh, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. Kicks and deals. That well, misses the zone. And yeah, the count even one and one. Runner at first with no outs here. And the one two misses to even the count. Double play ball to second. Over to Seeger. On to first double play. Sometimes double plays get turned so quickly that you don't really get to appreciate all of the finer details and how these guys execute them. Right there, really nice footwork. A good feed to second is the key to pulling it off. And that'll get down for a base hit. So now back to the top of the order. So the batting order turns over. Now yeah, the batter down, Kyle Schwarber. Runner takes off. Pitch outside. And that's a stolen base, not even close. Well, it really doesn't matter what the situation is. When a guy like this gets on first, you know he's going to steal second at some point during the at-bat. Nice job to get in the scoring position. The defense probably knew it was coming, but they just couldn't do anything to stop it. That's down and away. Two ball. Runner at second, two down. Here at the bottom of the seven. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And that one hops the wall. On the second, he's but he's in there. Safe as a run scores. Got the job done to put him up by two. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it, and that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Trey Turner now. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. And that's the third out. But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now 5-3. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. So coming into the game now on defense, Brandon Marsh. He'll be out in left field. Now fly ball to right center. He's got it. And there's one away. 
Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. Strike two. Bounced up the middle. Throws the first in time. Up next for the Rangers, Leody Tavares. Right down to shoot. That's strike one. On the ground, Sosa. And that is the inning. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. Bottom of the eighth. And now the first baseman, Bryce Harper. And here's the strike. Oh and one. Chases the changeup in the dirt. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row one because ball. hitters just Two can't strikes. lay off of it. Get on the ground to the right side. Whips it to oh. first. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Alec Bohm stands in for the Phillies. And right back to the mound. Slings the first. Two up, two down. At the play, Edmundo Sosa. Right. One for Looks like it'll be a pinch hitter. Bryson stop. Trying to get something going for him with two away. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And he deals. Hey! Side low, one and two to count. One ball, two a solid inning now. so far in relief. Getting them through this inning only down two could give their lineup a real opportunity to just grind their way back into this game. Ah. Cut on and miss, struck him out, and the Phillies are staying in the game on defense. This game for the Phillies. Now playing like second. As Bryson Stout, he entered the game to pinch hit, Langford. and now man second base. Langford leading things off and takes a strike. It's good speed Whoa, at the top of the there. order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. That's the third. Boom. Slings it across, oh. and they get the leadoff man in the ninth. He's two outs away. Nathaniel low up to hit that one to first Harper he'll do it himself oh. now only one out remaining so now it's Corey Seager right through there for a strike well I think that did surprise all of us right down the middle doesn't get a swing not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that the Rangers down to their final strike hit to second and this should do it Throw to first, ball game, and the Phillies take the series opener here at home. It seemed like from the first pitch of this ball game, this guy was going to get it done. Quality start, who knew he'd throw a complete game and get the victory, but an excellent job of continuing to just throw what the catcher put down. He navigated through this ball game, a jam here, a jam there, but ultimately it was an outstanding outing. A 5-3 final score in this one. The Phillies hang on to win it. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.